shall move. If they cut aid, we shall sit down and discipline our expenditure. Rearrange our, 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 our budgets. If they interfere with our trade, we shall trade with others. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that one is, is not uh, my, my, my... And that's what I was telling you. The other time when I met you at Kololo, I said, you people, you, you, you should be ready for a war. And you cannot fight a war when you are a pleasure seeker. If you like a soft life. So a war is not for soft life. No one will make us move. Ugandan President Yoweli Museven said on Wednesday in response to threats of sanctions from some Western countries since he signed into law the anti-homosexuality law 2023 considered to be one of the most repressive in the world. The NRM has never had a double standard. What we tell you by day is what we will tell you by night. So the signing of the bill is over. Nobody will make us move, declared Mr. Museveni at a meeting of members of the ruling party, quoted in a press release issued by the Ugandan presidency and on the NRM's official website. President Museveni urged Ugandans to stand firm, stressing that the issue of homosexuality is a serious matter that concerns the human race. He congratulated the registrators for their support, adding that once they fight for the right cause, no one can defeat them. The statement said, referring to, the, to his speech on Wednesday, to 400 NRM parameter, parameterians gathered in the Chengkwanzi, some 200 kilometers south of the capital. According to the statement, the president also said the other time when I met you in Kololo, I told you that you should be ready for a war and you can't go to war when you are looking for pressure, if you like the good life. There are, those are the first public comments by the Ugandan head of state since the announcement on Monday of the promulgation of the law known as the Anti-Homosexuality Act 2023. This law provides for heavy penalties for people who have homosexual relations and promote homosexuality. The crime of aggravated homosexuality is punishable by death, a penalty that has not been applied for years in Uganda. The enactment of this law provoked a wave of indignation from human rights organizations and many Western countries. Ugandan human rights activists have urged the international community to impose sanctions against their leaders. The law was eventually annulled by the Constitutional Court on the grounds of a technical defect in the board. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.